Welcome back to Books Start to Finish, and today I am talking about an audiobook, and that book is called Elliot Ness and the Mad Butcher. It was written by Max Allen Collins and A. Brad Schwartz. Now, this is a nonfiction book based on an actual historical crime case, and I'm here to tell you it is extremely fascinating. Now, what a lot of people don't know about Elliot Ness, we all know about The Untouchables. We've probably seen that movie there was a tv show he's very famous for the chicago era and the prohibition era but after all that was over he actually went to the city of cleveland ohio and became the safety director there now a little bit about me i'm actually from northeast ohio i'm very familiar with the city of cleveland i don't live there but i've been there many times i'm very familiar with it and this case this story has always fascinated me because in the 1930s Cleveland had an honest to goodness bona fide serial killer that was called the Mad Butcher of Kingsbury Run and I'm not going to get into the gory details here but for about a five year period they were finding bodies in the city mostly like washed up on the shores of the Cuyahoga River or Lake Erie that were like Jack the Ripper type stuff. I mean, they were brutally just dismembered. It was, it, it's gross, quite, quite frankly. And uh, Elliot Ness was the safety director, so he was in charge of a lot of the police force and things going on in Cleveland at the time. And so this book is all about his career as a safety director in Cleveland and this case to try to catch the Mad Butcher of Kingsbury Run. Now, I want to say a couple things about the author. So, of course, Max Allen Collins, he is, to me, best known as the, the author of the original source material for The Road to Perdition. Remember that film with Tom Hanks and, and I believe, Paul Newman? Great movie. He wrote the original, I believe, graphic novel for that. And then he's gone on to write a lot of other things, and a lot of them have to do with that area of time, the 30s and mobsters and stuff like that. So he's, he's a very good source of uh, expertise on that whole thing. And A. Brad Schwartz, I read a great book by him a while back. It's called Broadcast Hysteria. And it's all about the Orson Welles War of the Worlds broadcast where he mistakenly got people to believe that we were being invaded by Martians in 1938 by doing a broadcast of War of the Worlds and people thought it was real. Excellent book. If you are at all interested in that subject at all, it's a fascinating story. I recommend checking out Broadcast This Area. Anyway, when I saw that the two of them got together to do a book on the Mad Butcher of Kingsbury Run and Elliot Ness, I was hooked. I'm like, give me that. So that's what I've been uh, working on here. And I'm very much into it. So the book starts out, of course, with um, Elliot Ness starting his job as a Cleveland safety director. And not long after that, the bodies of these victims start showing up at various places in the city. And the book does an amazing job of kind of putting you in that time period, the, the mid-depression era, 1930s Cleveland. Paints a vivid picture of what the city was like at that time because it was a depression era city. It was not doing too hot. There were a lot of problems. There was a lot of crime, a lot of poverty. And Elliot Ness had his hands full. He had his work cut out for him. This book is just definitely gets into a lot of detail about that. And I'm very much enjoying it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is what I always do. I'm going to stop. I'm going to head out. I'm going to finish this guy. When I'm done with the audiobook, I will jump back on. And I will give you my final thoughts about the Mad Butcher and Elliot Ness and all the stuff that's going on in this book. But it is really great, and I'm looking forward to finishing it. All right, I will see you very soon. Back to work. What's your name, a detective? Okay, I am back having finished Elliot Ness and the Mad Butcher. I got Vincent here because he is walking around wanting to be in the video. So I thought I would give him a little chance to say hi to y'all. Hi. 
There you go, Vinny. All right, this book is cool. Very good and interesting story. Now, quick thing, you can see I'm wearing a different shirt. That is because this is a few days from when I recorded the first part of the video. And that's just the way these videos are going to go because I usually need more than a day to finish things. So there we are. All right, but I am very glad that I did finish this book because it is super interesting. So, The Mad Butcher, a couple quick things about that. Now, I don't think I'm being spoilery in telling you this because it is part of the uh, official story, the official narrative and the history, but The Mad Butcher of Kingsbury Run was never officially caught. He was never officially prosecuted and the case is still considered an unsolved crime to this day. Now, a thing about this book is I believe that it lays out a pretty good explanation as to who the Mad Butcher actually was. It gives you a walkthrough of a suspect that they had, and it makes a pretty good argument for why this guy is probably the one who committed those crimes. But again, this was the 1930s, and they had a hard time bringing evidence against this one suspect because... These were the days before DNA and stuff like that. So they were able to kind of pinpoint who they thought it was and deal with that person outside of like taking them to court and getting an official close. Because without a confession or catching him in the act, it was really difficult to prosecute this case. But the book does make a pretty good argument for who the Mad Butcher of Kingsbury Run probably was and I'm glad they did that because after finishing this I feel like I have a pretty good understanding and I feel like that case probably is closed not officially but there's good argument for who it was and what ended up happening to that particular suspect. If you are looking for a book that is really all about the Mad Butcher of Kingsbury Run this book isn't particularly that. This comes off more as a full biography of Elliot Ness from his Cleveland years to really the end of his life. This is a beat-by-beat -beat narrative of his career and life during those times. So there are big portions of the book where the Mad Butcher isn't even involved in the narrative because Ed Ness was off doing other things. And it really is more about Ness than the butcher case because there was more going on in his life and career and times than just that one case and so the title kind of leaves you thinking that this book is going to be exclusively about that case and it's not it's more of a straight up a biography about Ness from the Cleveland years to like I said the end of his life what I found just really opened my eyes with this book was the fact that the Ness of the films and the TV and all that that we've known in popular culture, that was a fiction. That wasn't the Ness of reality. And this book will give you the Ness of reality. And if you're in, at all interested in who he was and, and his personality and the real story of him, his, his faults, his strengths, he was a human and he had just you know everything everyone does he had good good things about him he had shortcomings about him he wasn't this mythical hero that we see in the movies and, and tv shows about him and the book actually gets into why this uh legend grew how that even happened the book toward the end actually explains all that so if you're interested in a broad view of ness this is for you if all you're looking for is the butcher stuff, you're going to have to sift through a lot more of the narrative before you get to those bits because it's only really a small portion of the overall story. So just kind of keep that in mind because if that's what you're expecting, you're going to you're going to get more than just that out of this book. But I did enjoy it quite a bit. It's Elliot Ness and the Mad Butcher by Max Allen Collins and A. Brad Schwartz check it out. I definitely recommend it. All right. Thanks again for taking the time to watch. I appreciate it. I'll be coming back at you with some more book reviews very soon. And until the next time, have a good one.